In this video, we're going to cover borders and the best way to draw borders for several different types. So I'm going to begin with this area and I'm just going to trace around the outside of the area. Right click to close. And I'm going to put my border material, so carpet 5, into that area. Now I'm going to select my border edit button. And the width of the border is right here. And I'm going to select mitered corners. Okay. So that's going to build separate rooms for each section of the border. Now all I have to do is click in the middle and put in that other material. This is also going to receive a border, but you'll notice that one side is missing. So to do this, I will first trace out the area. Click on my border edit button and set the size. And for this one, I'm going to do straight corners, and you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to stay with the field shape inside and change my middle to carpet one. This section of the border, however, is not included. So I'm going to click on that and hit my delete key to get rid of that and allow editing and scoot this portion closer to the edge. So what the square corners allow me to do is just easily move these sections to match the plan. Typically I'll go with mitered corners because it gets a little extra material. You'll notice also when I traced out this area, I didn't include this drop for the elevator. I can go back in with allow editing and add a drop. But if you add the drop before you create your border, your border will actually follow the shape of that drop. And so we would have a little dent here, which we don't want for our border. So I like to draw out the area as a square insert the border, and then if I need to edit it to add in drops, I can do that later. You can also do irregular shapes. So here we have a border that's not a square. And same thing for this elevator, I'm just gonna skip over. Again, I'll first put the border material in the room. Click on border edit. Set the width. And I'll select mitered corners for this one. And set the interior material. And allow editing. I'll do three foot six this time for that elevator. For the rest of the corridor, I can just draw a rectangle. It's easiest in my opinion, wherever you have this kind of border, to draw that out as a separate area and create your border and then just adjoin the areas next to it. So you might end up with a slight gap or overlap. That's okay as long as it's not a big overlap. It's a little easier than splitting because it's very easy for me to draw straight walls that way for your border. There are other kinds of borders such as this border which just separates two areas. So in that case what I would do for this border as I'm tracing this room above it I'll drop two points on each side of the door, finish that room, 
as I'm tracing my hallway, same down here. And then I'll just create a box for this width at the doorway. You can also type in dimensions. So if I just drop a point at the top and come down, and type in six inches, come across and hit enter, that will give me a perfectly six inch piece right there for my border. So that's borders. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And thanks for watching.